What's going on guys? Uh, today we're just going to be doing a short video. It's just going to be uh, me taking off my grips. I just changed my air filter. I'll show you guys how the old one looks. But I'll put a picture up right here to show you guys how the uh, new KNN air filter looks. Um, I literally just put it on. My bad. I, I did not record it. I was like way too excited. But, um, but let me show you guys the grips real quick. Oh yeah, and I did go like... Uh, platinum like purplish hair so if you guys see I look different that's why <coughs> these are the grips right here that they have um, I really don't like them these ones are super easy to take off because they have like water in them already so I was like you know I was like oh, whatever but the, these ones over here are a little harder so I'm gonna cut those and then uh, we're gonna slap the new ones on there. I'm gonna just clean that because that's all rusted right there. I don't like that. Okay, guys, so here are the new grips. Let me get you guys better lighting. As you can see, they are all black. Um, I really like these. These are really sick. They have like um, plastic y feeling right here, like rubber, and it has metal on the outside. And the one with the uh, the bigger hole is the one with the throttle. This one is the one with the throttle. And this is the one with your just uh, normal handlebar. So let's slap these on real quick. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of hairspray to put inside here. So that you can be able to twist it to your liking. And then um, once it dries out, it will be nice and dry and you won't have it all like greased up and stuff. So that's a little hack if you guys want to know how to put them on like really easily. This is how the uh, grips came out. Uh, they look uh, pretty sick. Um, as you can see, they look nice. They have like the M right here. I like that. And then the uh, the grips overall, they feel really nice. Compared to that right there, I don't like that. So, a little hairspray worked. Got the grips on there pretty nicely. So now we need the uh, little clutch on the brake levers and then uh, front will be uh, pretty much good to go. What's going on guys? Uh, today we're just going to be doing a little paint job on the CBR 600RR. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to take off the like the um, the foot rest, I think that's what they're called for the uh, for the um, rider and um, super easy so let's go let's go see what's up. So these are the ones I'm going to be taking off. Um, it shouldn't be too hard, it's just, uh, I see that's just this big bolt right here, these two, and then it should come off, and then I could just take off each piece individually. What's going on guys, today we're going to be starting off the day with a little bit of a problem. Um, my, uh, my throttle, it's kind of stiff, and, um, I know why, because I put super glue on the, uh, on the little throttle tube, because the throttle tube was, like, broken. And I, I did not, I don't know how like all that stuff works, so I didn't know that it would get um, stuck with the metal bar and the throttle tube. So now it's like super stiff. Um, I'm going to see if I can take off my throttle tube and then hopefully I can take off some of that super glue and some of the super glue on the, uh, on the actual metal itself, the metal bar. So as you can see, these are the new grips that I put and when I put them, the tube was actually broken, so what I did is I just super glued the tube back how it was, and I put the grip inside. But since the super glue went on the actual like bar, on the actual metal bar, it like it got stuck. So as you can see, when I twist it, it like stays like that. It doesn't go back, so it has zero slack. I mean, you know what I mean? Like it, it doesn't go back, and that's extremely dangerous. Like. Um, you don't want your motorcycle to stay on rev and uh, and fly underneath you. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the bracket down here, and then we're going to uh, loosen up the uh, bolts that are down here. We're gonna loosen up these bolts right here, and then hopefully this whole mechanism will come off. Okay, guys. So what I did is I went ahead and I took off the throttle tube along with the grip. So that's one whole piece and then I had some super glue right here stuck right here so what I did is I got a 800 grit sandpaper is it 800? oh no 220 grit sorry and um, I just went at it 
and try to take off all the uh, what's it called all the super glue. So as you can see, there was a whole bunch of super glue. There was a whole bunch of super glue all right here. It was all black, and um, and I just kind of just took it all apart, and now it's like really smooth. So now, when I go ahead and I put my grip in, now it's like super smooth, as you can see. Like pretty smooth, so. So it was a success, looks good. Now we're just gonna have to put everything back on. Okay guys, so I'm completely done. I put everything back where it's supposed to go. I put the slack back uh, to the right measurements. So as you can see, the slack on it is just a little bit. And now when I rev, it goes back to the position where it's supposed to be. Okay guys, so this is how the um, the rear brake uh, pedals are. Um, they're pretty good. Uh, this one's a foot rest right here. Um, as you can see, they came out pretty nicely. I just painted them with this paint right here. I just have this laying around. It's uh, for metal also. So if you guys want to use, you know, any paint that, that works with metal, just make sure you guys give it a good time to cure. Um, I give this at least like, uh, probably like 12 hours to cure. So they're pretty good. And I'm not gonna be riding it until like, probably a couple more weeks. So the paint will cure pretty nicely. And um, this is the rear, uh, the brake side. As you can see, came out pretty good. It's better than the red, in my opinion. Um, the only thing is the rear brake light, which is this little thing in here. It's uh, it doesn't have anywhere to put it, and it has a little spring back here. I don't know if you can see it. It has this little spring. So I just kind of put a zip tie right here, and I put the spring there, so that when I hit the rear brake light, the spring compress um, expands, and your rear brake light goes on. But the only thing with that is that I have to hold it all the way down and that you'll probably only be able to see me break when I'm in a complete stop. I decided to paint these guys too. This side right here because that's the only thing that is like kind of like a silverish, uh, grayish um, on the bike. And um, now that those are black, I want that to be black also. And since my fairings are going to be a different color, I want everything to kind of contrast with each other. So I'm going to paint that, I just went ahead and covered the exhaust and I uh, I covered like the battery and stuff like that. This is how the bike came out guys. Uh, I think it came out pretty nice. Um, so I went ahead and as you can see, I uh, I painted that black and I painted this black right at the end because um, I just kind of figured that that would probably look a little bit better if that was all black. And uh, I just put the bolts back on here. I just put the bolts back on there just so that um, I won't lose them. And uh, it turned out pretty good. It looks, uh, you know what I mean? It looks like it's supposed to be like that. Let me show you guys the other side real quick. You can barely see, but um, that's how it came out. Uh, make sure if you guys do do this, to cover your exhaust. I just painted down here because this part right here was all silver also. So I just spray, sprayed it down. Um, and yeah, it looks a little bit more stealthy versus the uh, red that it had and like the silver. And now that the, um, that the grips are black and this is black, it's starting to look a little bit better. I just need these um, these levers to uh, to go piece out because um, I don't need that. I don't want that to be honest. All right, guys. So let me know what you guys think. Um, it took it took me like probably like two days to do uh, just because the paint has to cure pretty nicely, and um, and she's looking pretty good. Uh, I still have a whole bunch of things coming in for the uh, for the CBR, and uh, stay tuned if you guys want to see that for sure. And uh, like, comment, and uh, subscribe, guys, if you guys want to see more. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace.